Hey you guys, it's your girl Shan Chan Sims and today I'm going to be doing my first Blender animation tutorial. Alright, so if you're familiar with Blender, you, you know you would need the Sims 4 Studio and the Sims 4 Ripper to rip your sim. But since I want to make this video go a little quicker, I already ripped my sim. Alright, so you know the same way you do poses the same way almost you do animations but I want to show you some steps that you have to do to get the sim to do the animation okay sorry alright so first we're gonna go to my projects and I'm gonna start over with that so I'm gonna go to electronic arts I'm gonna go to sims 4 mods and then I'm gonna go to where I saved my animation so you're gonna go to where you saved your animation and I got it saved by creators. So I'm going to do Like a Rodeo Dance by King Black Cinema. Alright. Oops. I almost clicked the wrong one. So we're going to open that. And you want to click on Clips. And you're going to export the file. So if whatever sim you want to do the animation. I'm going to do adult female anyway. So I'm going to export it. I already saved it. But I'm still going to show you where I saved mine. Okay. So go to Documents, Blender blender poses so i got it labeled by the creator so i know what poses and who poses they are all right so i go to blender animations and i already got it saved so it's a rodeo bake final you just click save okay so i'm gonna hit cancel so i won't save it again all right i'm gonna hit main menu and i'm gonna minimize this i minimize the window i'm gonna go to blender 2.93 i think i want i did it twice i didn't mean to I'm gonna exit out one of these windows okay so I'm going to try to talk slower because I know I talk fast and I be trying to slow down, but it's so hard to slow down. So I'm going to shade, I'm going to import my sim and I'm going to do the shading. So this part will be fast forwarded. So don't worry. I'll give you some music to listen to. Okay. All right. <laughs> So we're back and this is how she looks. Alright. This is the most important part, so I need y'all to like really, really pay attention and I'm gonna try my best to go slow so y'all can understand what I'm saying. But I ain't gonna talk that slow. But I will talk slow enough, okay? So first we're going to go, let me change this. We're going to change this back to 3D. No, we're going to change it to non-linear animation, okay? All right, so we're just going to do that first. We're going to leave that alone, okay? So we're going to go to output properties. That's one. You're going to go down to output, okay? So go down to output, so... Wherever you want to save your video, you're going to make a folder, okay? I already made my folder, so yeah. So you're just going to open the folder, and you're going to go to where you want to save your video, okay? So just hit accept, and now it will change to your location of where you want to save your video. Okay, that's first. All right, you gotta also change your file format. So that's important because every time you launch a new Blender, it will save as a PNG. So every time you wanna do an animation, you're going to have to change the file format, okay? So we're gonna click on the arrow and we're gonna click on movie, okay? So the one I usually use that works out fine for me is FFMPEG video. Don't ask me what I'm gonna well, uh, Don't ask me what it means because I don't know. But it says the most versatile way to output video files. So we're just gonna click that. All right. 
All right, so I usually use Eevee to do my animations, well, my TikTok animations, but I do use the render and viewpoint high so it can look real clear and look really real. I don't use cycles for my animations because it takes too long to process, you might as well say, okay? So that's the most important part. Um, you know what? I'm going to change it now. Uh, I'm going to do a thousand by a thousand okay and I usually change some settings but I don't think no not with this I don't change my settings my bad I'm sorry all right so you change your output settings so you can make sure it records okay because if you don't it will save as a PNG and then all your hard work will just go not noticed okay so the same way you do pose poses you do get animations okay so you well, you don't got to uh, you don't have to get that close <laughs> but you can hit i i mean yeah you hit i you go down to location rotation and scale okay all right you go down you do the same thing as if you were doing a pose you delete the strips all right you go to file go to a pen and you go where you saved your animation and then you click a pen all right you can hit action the same way you do pose a pen a pen all right you hit add add action strip and you do set one all right oops let me not close all right so you guys see this yellow strip right here you see that it's not enough time for the set to play the whole thing okay so we're going to pull this screen, screen up a little bit, all right? So you see it starts at 1, but it stops at 250. So you see this end that says 250, all right? I hate when stuff pop up. Okay, then you're going to go, you're going to change your end time to where, well, you're going to guess. I think it's 400, though. So you're going to go enter 400, and then, yeah, so now that's where the video will end, okay? So... She would do the whole animation, okay? All right. So now you got to add your camera. All right. Shift A, camera. All right. So you don't, you can lock this because I usually lock it so she can do it, right? All right. Go back to 3D import. I want to see where the camera is. So I'm going to do zero. All right. So the dimensions for well you still go back to output properties but you have to change your camera size so you can get a TikTok or if you want to do an Instagram reel it's the same uh the same ratio that same X and Y okay so you see this 1080 and 1920 you can change it to 1080 over 1920 because that's the dimensions for TikTok and reels okay so after we do that, we're going to move the camera to where we want to move it to. All right. Go up. Go back some more so I can get her whole body in the video. You know what? I don't want her whole body, but I want, like, most of it in the video, okay? So, I'm going to do that. And move it over, okay? So... You know what? I'm going to add a cube around her because I usually do cubes instead of putting it in the scene because I usually don't know which scenes take EV and which ones take cycles. Like some scenes look better in scene. I mean, some scenes look better in scene. Some scenes look better in cycles and some look better in EV. Okay. So we're going to add a cube. I'm going to scale it so I can make it bigger. So she could be inside the cube, and you can see she inside the cube. Go move it up some. Okay. All right. So we're going to do that. And you see, this is how the video will look. I think I'm going to keep the box white because I actually like how it looks. So I'm going to add some lights in the box. Go on Shift A, go to light, point. Uh, all right, I want to move the light so I can see her in the camera. Don't got to be that close. 
right uh, might move it up some more move it back some all right i don't want it that close to her so i'm gonna change it like that i think i'm gonna add no i'm gonna change this light so i'm gonna change the point and i'm gonna go to its object properties i think yeah so we're gonna make the light brighter so the power makes the light brighter so we're gonna change i'm gonna change it to 50 and we'll hit enter so see you see she got lighter and i think my number lock is on my keypad so that's why i'm like i gotta keep typing somewhere else uh i'm gonna move it back some more since it's brighter now uh i think i like that yeah i like i think i like it like that all right so i'm gonna change the cube and make the cube have its own material um you could change it to what you want i'm gonna change it to glossy and make sure the color is still white because i want it still white but i want it a little brighter and okay all right all right so after that and you got your camera you're going to click i think you click yeah you click i again and you hit location rotation and scale so you see this little keynote popped up all right so this little orange thing in the corner is called a keynote so the keynote will keep the camera in place of where to start the video okay so that's how you want to start your video all right so after that you can edit it how you want it. so i gotta see how it played because i never played it before for me to know how it starts okay so i'm gonna hit play let me see her do the animation let's see if i need to move the camera so i do need to move the camera all right okay i actually like her doing it in this outfit so i actually like that okay all right you see it ain't even that long so all right i'm gonna start it back and all right so so i messed up on this part of my video so i had to start over so <clears throat> what i was trying to show you is how to move the camera so i already did it right but i'm gonna do it over again right so you see the keynote the keynote is where the video starts so when you want to how you want to move it is you want to move it to a place and if you try the video and then and then you want to move the camera however you want to move it and then you will click I then location rotation to scale again and it will put the keynote the next keynote so once you start it over it will play and it will show you where it moved to okay so I did a few so I'm gonna show, show the whole thing all right and where I moved into okay so however you want to edit it it's that way but all you got to do is start and then you move it to a future location and then you move the camera and then you click I and location rotation and scale and that's it so I hope this helped and I hope I was helpful and I hope it wasn't too hard to understand thanks for watching and I'm a ride you like a roach